How's everyone doing today? I'm Aiden from Leroy Dice. I am the Twaxmith Prince. And I just want to have, I just have one question. So my, I asked my dad something and he said it's up to me, so I need your guys' help. I've been thinking about starting a Patreon page where we would give rewards for like support and since I can't say thank you enough, I want to give some actual stuff to people. Um, let me look at my notes about what, like, stuff I have in mind. Like, uh, I got some t-shirts here. Like, buttons, because I've been making buttons recently. Um, I've been making some dice as well. And... Got some other stuff. So, if you guys want to see some of that, uh, let me know in the comments below. My thing is pink. I know. It matches my shirt. And... I need your opinion, because it's going to be going to you, my supporters, so I want to know what you guys would like to see as a gift for supporting me. So, let me know in the comments down below. Um, I'd love to see what you guys have to offer, and I'm going to make some dice. Dad, any more help? Hello, I'm Aiden from Wear Red Dice, the Clacksmith Prince, and I have my dad here to talk about the Tecro mold system. Uh, we just got this. I have yet to use it, Dad has, so I have brought him in to help talk about it. Because I know nothing about it yet, so Dad's gonna see what... Well, you saw me put it together. What do you think about it? It looks cool. I, I like the like puzzle piece. Yeah? Look to the outside. It's a lot, like, it looks a lot like the roll mold system. It's a slab mold. And so it comes with just these uh, three, four, six pieces. That's the way it came, just like that. Oh. Do you want me to put it together for you real quick? Yeah, put it together. Let's see what it looks like. All right. So this is the insert that goes in the bottom. Um, so I see all... you made it pretty deep. I don't think it needs to be that deep. Yeah. I mean... Looking at it from the side where I am. Oh. Seems to be a lot deeper than it needs to be. Hey, I mean... I you... mean, this was probably like your first time making it. It's not that it's my first time. I made a couple of these molds now already for you. I did um, see one of them. It looked to be really sticky. Because we have a dog hair. Um, I don't know how there was a bunch of dog hair on it. But yeah. it stuck to it. Yeah, she Ruby gets into everything. Yeah. So there's the box that it goes in. So what I like to do and what I've done for Aiden is I take the box, I turn it away from me, right? Yeah. And then I take a piece of tape. Oh. I oh, go. That makes sense. Making it so it sticks together. Yeah, because silicone will come out of there. Yeah. I take so it, I fold it. I fold down the sides. That's how you make your boxes. That's how you put stuff into packages. Yep. Hmm. It's like wrapping a thing. So I got one side done. Take it, turn it around. Take the other piece of tape. Take the other side. What I liked is that it wasn't... I saw someone using this. Uh, and I liked the system, the simplicity of it. And... What are some pros and cons that we've talked about about it? I mean... Um, uh, I think a pro is that you get to stack it, like the roll and mold system, and it allows for, like, better storage, whereas, like, with the other ones, a standard silicone, yeah. it's hard to stack them because you can't, like, put them side by side. Yeah. So and here's one thing that we did notice, that is that, and on the instructions, you use this as... It goes inside hmm. and so what it does is when it's inside it it success, sits up about what an like, eighth of an inch yeah and it allows for keys too which is actually really smart and if you're yeah it makes its own keys inside. on the sides and on both end on one end yeah um it but makes it really easy you have to use the double-sided tape um, and so what I did is I measured, it's one inch across from this point to this point, I measured, and I scored a line. So when I use my tape, uh, I eventually, because it's only three quarters inch uh, tape, um, I couldn't find a reversible 
or double-sided tape that was one inch that wasn't permanent. So another thing is you have to get removable double-sided tape because if you don't, you're going to get a sticky film on your dice and, and I don't think you want that. on your masters and you'll be cleaning it for hours. So um, put that in there. Pour your silicone in um, and fill it to the top as you see however you want. It'll look like that. And so the best part is you just take it apart. You know, you, you pull the sides off, pull the tape off, and you're done. And it's really durable too. It is. And we made the top and all we did was take the bottom piece off, slid it over. Yep. And we removed the top bit. We just poured silicone right there because the bottom piece wasn't on. We just poured silicone on top. Um, and we used what they said to use, and that's the Sorta Clear 37. Yes, I believe so. Yeah, it's about $45 on Amazon. Um, to get the dice out, how did we have to do it? We had to it's muscle it. Bend it. Like, There's video. Neither of us could really do it because A, Dad can't really use his thumb. Yeah. So that was hard. I couldn't do it because I wasn't strong enough yet. Because this is really durable. And it is very it's really durable. Tough to get to like bend how yes. you want it to, and we ended up ripping one of them, so we will end up fixing that. Yes. And what are you doing? I had some drizzle oh. left inside. Well, allow me to throw this away for you. Yeah. But I mean, some of the things. There's a lot of mold systems on the market. Yeah. Um, we've looked at a lot of them because you're younger and you don't have the strength to pull apart some molds. Yeah, we want. I wanted some that are easy to pull apart like the Royal Mold System that you just like take it off and then you can just peel it like in half. Yeah. And you can just take them out because it doesn't use much of your strength to pull them apart. And then we have a D2 in here, a D4, a percentile, a 12, a D8... And a, a D10, D a D8, and D4, like... It's really hard to get the D2 out. Yeah, yeah, but we're going to figure out a way. Yeah, we're going to see if we can make it a little bit easier to get out, but for now, we're going to have to stick with what we got. I um, mean, this system is pretty good. Yeah. When you think about what the abilities you have... It's also a really good alternative to the Royal Mode system. Yes. You can find it on Etsy for, like, $45. Was it $45? Yeah. And then uh, I think it was like $3.95 shipping, which yeah. it came in less than a week. Uh, the person, I think, cuts them, each one. Uh, if you want it, I would suggest getting a hold of them because they only make about seven of them yeah. every week. So you might be on... You might be on... Like, on a wait list. list. Yeah, we yeah. ordered this one and I, I loved it so much for you. Yeah. We ordered two more. Yeah. So they are on the way. They are on the way. Um, let's see. What are some pros that I like about this? Uh, it's an all-in-one system. Yeah. And it has, like, all, like, every single die you need in one spot. You can use, like, crystal D4s like we have and other stuff, like other unique die. Yeah. I know you talked about this, about... You talking with Todd at Die Hard Dice, and you're yeah. gonna get your your masters made. Yeah. You said this would be a phenomenal mold yeah. to make your masters out of, mm -hmm. and then you know that this mold is the only mold for your masters. Yeah. Like if you these you don't are, have to worry about making new ones every single time. Exactly. These will be just your mat. They'll be just your master mold, and you can you, make as many dice as you'd like out of it. Yes. Yeah. Something I would like to say is. When you're putting on your top, it doesn't, sometimes it doesn't want to sit. You just got to push it down. Um, and what we have talked about, me and Aiden, is there are lots of mold systems out there. And so... I think another problem with it is is that you made it too thin. So I think if you make it... Yeah. Like you used some of the silicone that you had used on this, making it too big. Because there's yeah. a lot of extra room underneath the dies. And he could use that silicone to make a thicker like a bigger top yeah so it weighs down more 
And one thing we've learned is if you put a, so I measured and I made a stick for the top and the bottom and we uh, just put rubber bands around it. Yeah. You know, we have found that that works good. It, it really holds well. the cap down. Yeah, um, and it, it doesn't put too much pressure. And it does, it, it puts pressure along the whole thing. Yeah. And that was one thing we found. So it doesn't make bubbles. It doesn't warp it either. Yeah. So what are some cons? Um, um, if you, like if one of the dice, like one of the molds for a certain die rips, you're going to have to make a whole new mold. Because, instead of just one dice. Yeah. Okay. Whereas with like the um, like normal silicone ones that we made and I used for the last video, we would have to like just make one more of a certain die. Whereas this, we have to make a whole new one because it's all ruined. Okay, that makes sense. Because you can't replace it. I think this is a great um, alternative alternative to other molds out there. Yeah. I know. I think this is going to be a lot better than the silicone ones that people make and use. That yeah. That rip really easily and are just not great. Yeah. And I know, like, like we were saying, I firmly believe that the royal mold system is going to be the evolution of yeah. dice making because you're not tearing the numbers out. Yeah. Something you're still doing is you're still tearing the dice out of here, albeit it's it's a easier. And even like if you still rip it, like you don't see it when it's when it's, it's closed. Yeah, when it's like that. Yeah, like we have a rip right here that we caused. But we can't like see it when it's. No, that's a good rip right there, right on the corner. But yeah. once it's closed, you don't see it. It's sealed. It's 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 a really good. It doesn't good... look like it would cause any problems. But yeah. we haven't made another one since that because we just took the set out that we made today. Yeah. So. So I know you're going to do a comparison video between this and the Royal Mold System this week. Yeah. Or next week. As well as a comparison between this and the silicone ones that we have. Okay, so you're going to do a try or a... Yeah, see how they do against the other ones. Okay. So on your... I think this might be a good middle ground between like the silicone ones and the royal mold system. Because it's like the royal mold system, whereas it's a slab mold. And it is tougher and not going to rip as much as normal silicone molds that people use. So... I think this is going to be really good. Great alternative to the Royal Mold System. Don't know how durable it is compared to the Royal Mold System, but we're going to see eventually. Well, I would say this. You've gotten 96 dice out of that system. Yeah. I don't think you're going to get 96 dice out of here. Yeah. I don't know how I'd get 96 out of the Royal Mold System. It's probably because it doesn't rip. It does like You're taking it apart instead of pushing out a, a tiny hole that's only meant for one face. Yeah. But the good thing about this system is that if you don't have the strength to pull out, push out dice, you can just go bloop and yeah, just by just pull it. it if would you push if, you would break it. if this is a dice, you turn it over, put your thumb there and bend and it'll yeah. pop right out and you it's, can just go right down the line. I had never seen anything like it. It was, it was really creative and I liked it. So. I mean, yeah, the person who made it did a great job. Yeah, we saw a video and they were explaining like how they opened it and got the dice out. And I was like, you push the bottom? That's like how you do it with the other molds. Yeah. And But it's also the bending that yeah. opens the mold up. So yeah. it makes it so it's a bigger hole to get out of. I like being on video when I don't have to show my face and I can just do my hands. I have beautiful hands. Well, what you can't use one of them very much. That's all right. I have a beautiful hand. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay. All right. So, uh, thank you for letting me come on. Yeah. Uh, I know you brought this to me and you were like, I need this right now. Yeah. I want to see how this does. Yeah. I like that your brain is thinking, uh, like you say, outside the D6 and you're trying to find new things to help the community. Yeah. I just see the acrylic paint taunting me. To be put into some dice. So what do you grade this? On a A, B, C, D, or F? 
I'm gonna do an NA because I haven't used it much yet. An A, whoa. An NA. An NA. Not NA. available yet. Not available, okay. I'm gonna give it a solid. I'm gonna give it a solid B minus, only because I've used the Royal Mold system and yeah. I think this is gonna be right under it. Yeah. If people use good silicone. If you're using a yeah. really hard silicone, this might you're, not be good. You're not gonna like it. But if you're using dragon skin, I think yeah. dragon skin will be really good in this mold. Yeah. So And I do like how we used like clear silicone as the top, so you can see how it looks on the inside from well, before even opening it. Yeah. Yeah. Same thing with the Royal Mold system. I like that too, because you can see it and see if there's gonna be any problems before you pull it out. So you can like be prepared to like see it so you can get all your tools out. See how it will look, clean it up. So what all do we need? You just need some packing tape to tape yep. it up. Yep. And some double sided tape. Yeah. And some dice that you have, your masters. Yeah. Masters and, uh, are going to be really good for this. They are going to be really good. So, you just have to hope they don't rip as soon as you take the masters out. Even if it does, I mean, I think you're still going to get a lot of use out of this. Yeah. And you can... it seals really well, even if it's ripped. You can use this over and over and over again. Yeah. So, all right. Well, uh, thank you for having me, bud. Yeah. I think this is going to be a great mold system and a great alternative to these. So, okay. I'm Aiden. This is my dad. Thank you all for watching. I think I said the D6.